So to get started, we want to download a software that's freely available on the web called DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a nonlinear video editor made by a company called Blackmagic Design, and they produced high-end video and audio equipment. If you notice here on the page, you can read a lot about DaVinci and all of the, uh, the new features that it has, but right at the top, there's a download button. When you click the download button, you can download DaVinci Resolve 16. DaVinci Resolve 16 is the free version. Studio does cost some money and has some added features. Right now I'm on a Windows machine. Click the Windows version and it's going to ask for your details and your contact information. If you choose to use your actual information, that's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. The download will still work as long as you fill out these uh, questions. Once you enter in your information, click register and download. Uh, the newest version of the software will automatically download to your downloads folder. I'm going to click save file. Okay. So if we click up here, we notice that it's downloading. It's about 1.3 gigabytes here. Okay. So once uh, DaVinci Resolve is starting up, you'll see this uh, splash page. It tells you what version you're running as well as uh, some more information about the software. Uh, when it opens for the first time, you get this projects window. These are all of my previous projects. Let's create a new project. Instead of untitled project one, we're going to call this Colab 2020. And uh, we get this screen. So this may look daunting at first, but it's actually not too complicated. This is the cut page. If you notice on the bottom, we have these different icons, which are different sections of the software. So this first page is the media page, which allows you to import and kind of organize the different media that you want to bring into your edit project. You have the cut page. Also, if you notice, if you put your mouse over the different icons, it'll give you a little tool tip explaining what the pages are. So this is a cut page. The cut page is a very simple way to piece together edits. Very similar to the edit page, which is the page I use the most. The edit page is where I actually like to sequence all of my videos. Then there is the fusion page, which allows you to do some advanced visual effects work. The color page for color correction, the Fairlight page for audio and sound design, and the export page, which will allow you to export your final product for the web and other formats. Let's go back to the edit page here, which is the third icon. Here in the edit page, we have a little media pool section here on the left. The media pool is where all of the media that we will import into the program will live. You can click this icon and it'll open and collapse to give you some more space here. 